closed my first ten thousand dollar job, and then a week later I closed a client on the spot in another city within thirty minutes of meeting and I closing for twenty two thousand. What's up guys, this is Keith Kelfus. I'm excited right now. We've, we're doing a case study video with my friend Dylan Brannon right now. And this guy's a young landscaper, 24 years old, who is about to do a million dollars in 2021. He actually started his landscaping business watching my videos on YouTube. Then he came to my live event, and this was what, uh, 20, 2018 at my live event. Yep. And this dude's got motivation, he's got hustle, he's got so much energy, and I'm, I'm like even proud of this dude. And on track to do a million dollars in hardscaping, landscaping, all around lawn care and landscaping in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Dylan Brandon, dude, what is up? And he's got some stuff he wants to share with you, but I want to hear your story, bro. Absolutely. this is inspiring. So tell me about your business and how you got started, man. So I got started. You guys want to know how I got started? I started watching YouTube. That's where it all started. And who popped up on the videos first? It was you. I started watching your videos first, and I just loved the way that you connected through the camera. It was almost like you were talking to me in person, but uh, you were on video. So I started watching your videos. I already had the idea. I knew I wanted to get into lawn, landscape, tr uh, pavers, and trees, but I didn't know where to start. So I came across your videos, started watching them, and I just loved your energy and loved everything about what you were promoting through there. And, um, I didn't know one thing. I didn't know nothing how to operate chainsaws. I didn't know how to operate mowers or what mowers or what um, equipment to use or you know equipment to buy. You know trucks, trailers, um, nothing. I, I knew absolutely zero when I started about three years ago, three and a half years ago. And uh, so when I watched that first couple of videos, I started getting um, the knowledge to basically start. You know, to, to make, start making things happen. Come up with the name, come up with the logo, insurance, um, all the admin stuff, you know, the business license. And I actually had all that stuff uh, done. Logos, LLC, insurance, all that stuff before I even started. Um, like before I had one piece of equipment or one client or anything, I already had the administrative like back end stuff. That's dope. Done before I actually bought my first piece of equipment. Now, how long from when you started, you were doing lawn care and then some landscaping. Uh, what was the point where, because I ran into you at the GIE Expo, yeah. and you were like dialed in, focused, saying, oh, I'm here to take the classes and get certified and doing pavers. pavers and all yep. that. And then I noticed you, uh, I saw you, you were at Grant Cardone's event, yep. absorbing all his content. You're hanging out with guys like Tigran, and you just yep. like, tell me about that. Okay. Um, so in the, in the guts and to take the chance and leap up to the next level, how did you yeah. pull all that together? Well, it started by taking taking the leap. When I watched your video of you, you know, with the with your first event, promoting your first event to go to, you said on the video, "You have to be here." You know, you have to be here. I was watching that while I was driving over the bridge in my car, and I was thinking, "This is this is this is a calling." So that's where it all started. I flew myself out to that event, and uh, it was it was a, the it was a life changing experience. I needed that. That was the, I guess you could say, like that was the start to knowing. I need to put myself in the right environments around the right people and then I will I will learn along the way and so from that first event um, I knew that it was possible I could fly out somewhere I could be all by myself and you know be a grown adult and meet people and learn things you were one of the youngest guys at the event my events the marketing ROI live workshop and there was some uh, awesome heavy hitters in, in the room that were teaching how to automate the sales and marketing in your service business. And I remember Dylan in the front row taking notes. And I said, nobody can record anything on camera, so we have cameras here. Uh, my guy Quentin Howell's filming, and, and he snuck the GoPro camera. He's filming anyways like a jackass. And I went by, and I yanked the camera, and I took the chip out, and he was like, but it just because I didn't want everybody else doing it. But then uh, he came up to me, and you, you apologized. It wasn't even about that. It was like. You're, you're a rule breaker, bro. So what about the guys who want to get started or take their business to the next level, but they're just afraid and stuck? They're terrified of failure. Where I see a guy like you, 
you're breaking the rules and taking chances and you're succeeding. Like you just yeah. bought this the amazing truck, you're posting pictures on Instagram of the dump trailer and these yeah. beautiful jobs you're doing. Yeah, I actually just bought another business too. I bought, it, I bought out another lawn care company and, and basically just added the clientele to mine and had to get m more equipment for my guys and bring on more employees and you know a new secretary starting next week. So um, there's a lot of things going on with the, lands the lawn and landscaping side, but it, um, it, it was a tough start, but once I knew that there's no reward unless you take the risk, then I started to just, I, it's, it's all about the circumstances, circumstances too, because there's people that have kids, there's people that have responsibilities that they can't just take the risk and leave something behind, whether it's an animal or family or friends that they have to take care of or whatnot. For me, you know, I, I don't have a wife or children or anything like that. So in my situation, I was able to just take as much risk as possible because in, in my mind, I'm like, if, if I lose everything, you know, what did I really lose? You know, I'm, I didn't risk my family or risk my, you know, mm -hmm. um, friendships or anything like that. I just took the risk and. Yeah. But I also you know? see you're taking calculated, educated risk. You're, Absolutely. you're paying to go to like the 10X Growth Con. Yep. You're getting around guys who make, you know, 10 times the amount of money and have had all the setbacks and failures. You're breaking bread and eating meals and getting these life-changing conversations one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. And you're working your ass off and going and investing your hard-earned money to go meet these people and take these courses and do all that, right? Yeah, so there's a couple things behind that. Um, they say that you are who you hang with, right? So if you're hanging around a bunch of drug dealers or a bunch of junkies, you're gonna be a junkie. You're gonna become a, a drug dealer. The, uh, the, the force that that, ener like the, basically the energy that those environments bring it is really bad when you put yourself around it and you ultimately get sucked into that. Um, so what I started to notice was is I started to put myself around people like you and people that watched you and people like Tigran and Grant Cardone and people that wanted to change their life and get away from that lifestyle and get away from those types of people and those types of environments. Um, that was a really big thing for me was just realizing, you know, um, I, if, I, if I hang around the same people and hang around the same environments and I, I don't take the risk and go and leave and put myself in it, make myself uncomfortable, then I won't grow and I won't progress. So that was a really big thing. And once I started to realize that, put myself around your event and meet people there, go to the GIE, meet people there, met Tigran, put myself in that group and the people that are doing, you know, five, 10 times more than me, um, it really started to, you know, eye open. Basically your network is your net worth. So the bigger your network, the bigger your net worth. It just, it just ultimately, you know, folds up to that, you know? Dude, that's super dope. Yeah. And uh, the jobs that you were starting out with, uh, three to seven grand, and then you grew up to 15 to 30. To 30, And what yeah. are the, like, the larger size jobs you're taking now, uh, you know, turning people's backyards into these beautiful scapes? Yep. Talk a little bit about that. And um, so the first job I actually started with, this is before I had any piece of equipment. Um, I had zero money, zero money. And all I had was a Ram 1500 with, and I invested all my time and money into at the time, the LLC, the logo, getting everything set up on the administrative side because I didn't want to go back and deal with that. So I wanted to get that knocked out the way first. Got that, I didn't have any equipment. The hurricane just blew through my town and I had everything I needed approved for the LLC, all that stuff. And I went door knocking after the hurricane blew through. Ended up knocking on this apartment door and it happened to be the owner of the whole complex. And I was like, hey, hey, ma'am, you know, I noticed your trees are screwed up out here and there's debris everywhere. Is there any way that I can trim, trim them up or clean them up for you? She's like, yeah, absolutely. You know, give me a quote. And at the time, I didn't know how to quote. I didn't know what I was charging. I, you know, I was just watching Keith's videos and I took in a couple tips that actually helped me out in the long run. Um, I charged her 600 bucks for that job and it took me probably, you know, a good day to do it. Um, but I took in a tip that I learned from your video, which jump-started me. And it was to always collect a deposit, you know, before you start the job. And that's how I got enough money to buy the chainsaw to actually do the job. And it wasn't even the right chainsaw either, <laughs> right? So um, the job was $600. I got a 50% deposit, so she gave me 300 bucks. I have no equipment at this point. I go, I do my research on what saw to buy. Um, I bought, uh, you know, a two-handed 20-inch echo chainsaw and I was cutting up these trees on a ladder trimming them with a 
20 inch two-handed saw. Don't do that. And um, wrong, wrong saw for the job, but after the job, I had the chainsaw and I had 300 bucks in my pocket. So now I actually have a piece of equipment and I have money in my pocket to now go and figure out if, what equipment I need for the next project or, you know, just to reinvest back into t-shirts or hat or something, you know? Um, and then that's where it all started. The rest was history from there, so. And that's awesome. So, and back to my, my question again, from the point when you started doing three to $7,000 jobs, yeah. What was that transition like to where you started jumping up to twenty and thirty thousand dollar hardscape jobs? Yep. How did you make that specific leap? Jump. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was really all the sales tactics and just tr sales training that I learned from grants like boot camps. Going to those because a lot of people they you, you're going into it from what you learn from other people, and that might not be the best training, you know. Um, and with grant system and basically all everything he promotes in his programs and whatnot it offers a sort of a, a base like how you go to school to learn something it was like a school Absolutely. for sales you know and I just learned how to get really good at selling myself and my company and my products and um, charging more that was another thing I picked up from you is not not booking myself up and just being completely slam packed with work with low profit jobs because I would give you like the lowest price just to get the job you know um, I started to charge more and, and was in a position to where I could deny jobs and I've denied a lot more than I've actually got but you know my schedule and my my job portfolio is booked out with high profit work so it, I went from the sales training and all that stuff that was really what helped jump from that really 500 to a thousand dollar project maybe 500 to three thousand dollar project range and at the time with my first three thousand dollar project it was like everything in the world to me. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's like, it was like how the $600 job was. When I first got that $600 job, I was like, you know, nothing else matters. I was like, you know, so pumped to actually get the job done. Um, but then it turned into 3,000 and then 5,000. And then I closed my first $10,000 job. And this is learning tips along the way from people that are doing better than me. Um, closed my first $10,000 job. And then a week later, I closed a client on the spot in another city within 30 minutes of meeting am I closing for 22,000 on paper dope, dude. and uh, then it just was it was crazy from there because That's I knew sweet. what I was capable of after I closed that closed that first deal you knew what you were capable of because you did it yep. and you had the results yep that sweet so it was it was definitely a big jump from there. these these moments where you like question your worth but then you actually go out and do the thing. You have the results and now it's irrefutable. You can't even deny yeah. because you just did it and you're doing it. And there's, then you like level up, right? There's no excuses at that point. That's dope. Because uh, a lot of the time we like to give ourselves excuses or let the other side of our head talk us out of certain things. And, mm -hmm. But once you actually put yourself there and you do it, now it's all about how can I repeat this as many times as possible? You know, and get better at it too. You, you will progressively get better at it. That's you know? sweet. And now what's like the biggest jobs you're closing right now and getting them all done? Um, I've had a couple like 50 to 60, maybe $70,000 jobs on the line and those are still, you know, I'm waiting to hear back from them. But my biggest job to this date was probably around 40,000. And for me, I, I see all these other guys that I'm around, younger guys too, that are doing, you know, 100,000, 200,000 dollar projects. Who are those two kids you were telling me? Well, they're teenagers, they're like 17, you were bragging yep. about these guys? Yeah, so it's, uh, they're 16, 17 years old. They actually joined this group that I was a part of when they were 15. Started with a four wheeler and uh, pulling a little trailer on the back with a lawnmower. And they went from that to now having, you know, eight, nine trucks, you know, 13 to 15 employees, all without having their license to start too. They just used the resources. It was like, kind of like chess, you know, you just, it's a, it's a game of chess, not checkers. Um, and, and just, you know, knowing the secrets that you learn from being around other people. Uh, That's sweet. But they went from that to um, last year, I think they closed roughly around 2 million in sales. And That's then amazing. they're on their way now to do 5 million in sales. So you and, have all this proof around you because you, yep. you congregate with people that are doing this every day. Yep. So and it makes me feel like I'm not doing anything because these young, younger guys are, you know, doing way more than me. But one thing that I've noticed is uh, they are less distracted 
you know, and they don't they don't have as much habits that I've, you know, grown up, you know, creating for myself. So they have when they, they started young doing that and being around people like I'm around, they have all the time in the world to focus on their craft and not be distracted by girls or drugs or alcohol or video games or movies. Like they just focus all their attention on going to those events and being around people that are doing better than them. And it really cuts out a lot of time that they have to learn. You know what I'm saying? Going through all the habits and bad experiences and all that stuff. Um, it's, it, that's really helpful. That's a huge point. Uh, and there's a saying that I love, where you will be in five years is directly associated or correlated with uh, the people you associate with, the books that you read, and the difficult conversations you're willing to have. Whether that's being with, uh, you know, telling people around you no or healthy boundaries or having conversations with clients. And yep. it's like, that's so true, man. So what's this thing? Uh, uh, you see you're doing multiple businesses now. You got this no limit network. Yep. Tell so me about a, that. That's a, sweet. Yeah, there's a couple things going on. I saw on. you doing real estate too on Instagram. Yep. You are closing deals and yeah. rehabbing it's, houses, man. It's, and it's all about learning from the people that are doing more than me. I mean, it's that's just all, that's all it is. Just studying people that are more successful than you are and then modeling them or taking in these pieces of information and then inputting it, making your own thing out of it. But uh, a couple different businesses that I have going on, the business side of things, I have the lawn and landscape company, which I've done very well. Mm -hmm. You know, for, in my eyes, I've done very well in the short, short amount of time that I started it. Went from not knowing anything about business, not knowing anything about sales, not knowing anything about real estate three and a half years ago to now I have a business that's gonna, it's already produced multiple six figures and um, it's uh, now on its way to reach a seven figure mark. The second business that I have, which is a junk removal and dumpster rental company, you know, I just threw down big on that. I, it, the, the setup that I invested, you know, no risk, no reward. The setup that I invested on that business cost 60 grand. And in the back of my head, it, there's that thought, is this gonna work or not, you know? But I have faith in myself and my ability from what I proved myself into the other company that it's gonna work tenfold and I'm gonna need more dumpsters and I'm gonna need more people and more trucks and I just know where it's gonna go. So that's the other business that I have. And then I got some real estate and then the no limit. So business, real estate, and then my brand. And basically the real estate side of things is it's all multifamily. And I actually learned how to buy that deal through watching Grant's videos. You know, for free on YouTube. For free on YouTube, late at night. At Grant Cardone. Two, three in the morning, just watching all of his videos. And I actually learned how to buy the deal that, the first deal that I bought. And just, he just preaching it, preaching it, preaching it. And, clicked and I you know what sold me on Grant Cardone this was way back in 2014 or 15 I don't know what happened but he ended up in the hospital for a couple days and uh, I think he had an IV in his arm but he had a real estate deal to go close and they're like no 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 you can't leave he's like no I got a deal to close he took the IV out of his arm and he went out, he closed the deal and then came back into the hospital bed and the doctors, mm -hmm. they all thought he was crazy. And he went on Facebook and he's like, who's got my money? Yeah. I'm like, this dude is, he's raw, he's authentic, he's, and yeah. Just like you. Thanks, man. Yeah. So how can people find you, man? Um, you so eat. I'm on Instagram, yep. Dylan underscore Brandon. I'll put links below. And then Owen. That's on Instagram, Dylan Brandon on Facebook, and then also Dylan Brandon on YouTube. And um, yeah, the, the business brand, or the brand that I've created, um, it's basically like a lifestyle business type real estate brand where I you know, coach people that are anywhere from 15 years old to 25, that's really my, the main people who contact me. Um, but even people that are 30, 35, 40, 50 years old, my parents' friends, people that never been exposed to you know what I'm learning and they're learning too and, and basically I, I teach them how to go from um, having no job to getting a nine to five you know um, and then go from a nine to five to starting your own business and then generate that business to a six-figure company within the first year and then hopefully a seven-figure company in year two year three um, but ultimately once you get the businesses where you want them to go then you take the extra capital and then you invest it into the multifamily real estate, which is on the back end. It's the long-term wealth. You know, you can get rich selling real estate um, and you can get rich off businesses and whatnot, 
but ultimately you'll become wealthy by buying real estate or buying a long-term asset, cash producing asset on the back end. So it's, you know, um, nine to five business and then real estate. And then just, you have your business and real estate and they go hand in hand together. Because the more money you make on, on your businesses, the more money you can invest into real estate, which you can, you know, grow your portfolio. And like what Grant says is cash, cash is shit. And this is something that shocked me because I've been raised, you know, growing up thinking that cash is everything. Cash is not everything. Cash flow is everything. Monthly residual income, daily, weekly, monthly, any sort of income that comes in on a residual basis. Dude, is, he is so is, informed. Is king, you know? So. You know, you know I like every time I, I see Dylan, whether we're at the GIE Expo or some uh, mastermind event, He's not complaining about things that aren't working. He's just talking about the great information that he's getting and how he's doing this thing that's gonna work. Like even if it, you haven't done it yet, you already know that's what you're doing and you're doing it. And every time I run into you, you've done it. Yeah. And that's that no limit mentality, bro. Absolutely. What, what to close up here, what's like a piece of advice you would give for a guy who's, he's stuck and he's like, it's not working, I don't see how I'm gonna make this work, it's impossible. How do they make that become a possibility in their brain so they can get it like you're doing it? Get around people that are doing better than you. Simple as that. Whether you have to pay That's for it. it, whether you have to pay for it, or whether you can go up to your local network. He said groups. whether you have to pay for it, right? Yeah, well ultimately I, I wanna add something to this because paying for it, you know, most people they think it's a lot of money, but when you realize you can learn 30 years of information within three minutes or 30 minutes or an hour. You compress time. Compress time, and that's what Grant talks about is how can you shorten time? You know, what it took somebody 20, 30, 40 years to learn, you can learn in 30 minutes to an hour or three days to, you know, a week. You can learn it, but you have to pay for it because obviously it took them that much time to, you know, um, get that information. They're not just gonna give all of it out for free. So I've, you know, I've learned a lot of information for free and I've also paid for a lot of information. I mean, one of the tickets that I bought for one of Grant's events was 5,000. You know, three and a half years ago, I could never even fathom spending $5,000 on a ticket just to go learn. Not on a piece of equipment, not on uh, a business or anything, just to learn something. And ultimately, if I were gonna leave somebody here with a piece of advice um, that they could, you know, if they're stuck in that mindset, there's three of the best investments you can make, and this is in my case, is yourself, your business, and real estate. Everything else after that's extra, you know, stocks, all that stuff. But the real solid stuff that you can never go wrong if you invest in, if you, you know, no, kind of know what you're doing, is yourself, which is your knowledge. You pay to go to events, you go to networking meetings. That's one thing that helped me talk better and learn how to explain myself a lot better in front of professionals and talk professionally is getting in network groups in my local city. Um, and then your businesses, investing in your business and getting more employees, buying equipment, trying to become more professional, collar t-shirt, um, you know. Um, with the button down. Yeah, with the button down. <laughs> um, but even with your guys, invest into your guys because ultimately, if, as, as long as you invest into those two things, your, yourself and your business, ultimately you can't go wrong because you're gonna learn. Even if you make mistakes, those mistakes are very valuable. And, and you know what, as yeah. this guy's talking, I actually see you standing in front of like a whiteboard with a, with a group in front of you and you actually teaching live. I see it the way you're moving your hands. It's in your blood, it's in your DNA. Yeah. You're gonna do that, aren't you? Absolutely. I've already, it's actually, it's funny because we've already been getting content and stuff with that. And that's, that's ultimately the goal there is to be able to provide um, as much value as possible, you know, to the guy that started just like where I was at. You know, I, three, like I said, three and a half years ago, started with nothing, started with no knowledge of business, no knowledge of real estate, no knowledge at all. And another crazy thing, this is a shocker I'll throw in here. I don't have a GED. I don't have a high school diploma. I don't have a college degree. I don't have a real estate agent's license. I don't have a general contractor's license. But yet I was able to grow a business and generate, you know, multiple six figures. I was able to buy a piece of real estate that's, you know, more than I could thought, more than I could think of. It's a little bit over half a million now. This is the piece of real estate that I bought. It produces me income. 
and I get to live for free. So it's you know financial freedom, um, and I I don't have any of those credentials that you're raised growing up to think that you need to become successful. So there's no excuse. You can literally start from zero, start from nothing with no credentials, and you can go to. There is no limit, so that you can came. go to the top. You can basically go to wherever you want. There is nope. no limit. All right. One more time, how can people find you? Dylan Brandon. Yep. Instagram, Dylan underscore Brandon. Facebook, Dylan Brandon. YouTube, Dylan Brandon. And you guys can uh, follow me on there for more content and more, more advice. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that case study. Dylan Brandon, all around lawn and landscape, Cape Canaveral, Cape Canaveral Florida, Florida. Jesus, Cape Canaveral, Florida. <laughs> this dude is a straight up savage and also he has humility, he's a student, and he's already moving into contribution, which is like the highest level you can do at 24. Proud of you, dog. Appreciate it, man. It's a pleasure. You guys go out there and get it and crush it. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Peace.